we're going to create one more part uh, for our, our catalog, our pressure pipes catalog. Uh, this time I'm going to do a hydrant. So I have my AutoCAD solid. Okay, it's a 3D solid. Uh, if I turn this to wireframe, I have my line I need. I'm going to erase this connection point and we're going to do another connection point. Um, so I'm going to add that connection point in. Insert, connection point. Uh, pick your object. Pick where you want to be uh, connected to. And then those same two points, we're going to go in direction. I'm going to go from up above to the connection point location. I do not want to add engineering data, yes or no. Okay. And it added in that connection point. So the next command, publish. Publish part content. Okay. This asks you to select that same solid. Disappears temporarily. We want to pick the line. We want to tell it uh, inches, millimeters. We'll go inches. Uh, specify the part type. We're going to do this one as a hydrant. Okay. And then again, it's going to export this out to a dot .content file. I'm going to throw this on my desktop and we'll call this hydrant. Okay. You can get this content from a lot of different locations. You can get it from Autodesk Seek. You can get it from, if you have access to Revit MEP or AutoCAD MEP, um, you can export those out or save those as 3D solid. Um, probably the quickest way to get a uh, pretty solid catalog being built. But there's a lot of free content out there. If you Google 3D solid AutoCAD, uh, you're going to find that. So. so what we've done, we've started with our solid, we had our line, we had our connection point, and we've exported that out to a content file. Uh, what we're going to do next, we're going to open up the content catalog editor, and we're going to get this information into our parts list um, database, our SQLite database.